we're going to look at a game in which White, who happens to be Paul Morphy, is going to engage in attack on an uncastled black king, and he's going to try to draw him out into the center and separate him from the pieces that he's hoping can save him, right? Some of the students that may or may not perform great in the classroom can be good chess players. So that tells us that they're certainly capable of doing, of thinking, of reasoning. And that, that to me has been the most interesting part about it. We do have some students that have served as mentors to some of the um, younger students. The children are learning uh, how to be good sports um, in a quiet way. Before I played chess, I was really impatient, but now that I've played chess, I've learned patience more because I've had to play games out of four hours. And it helps me with my reading and math skills in school. So whenever we're doing stuff on graphs, I could just see it as a chessboard because uh, according to playing, it's just the same thing as a chessboard. I've won a few medals and then I've won two uh, trophies. I won one in Louisville, Kentucky. Then I won one for second place at the state tournament uh, for Miss at Mississippi State. We had a meeting with uh, the Chess Foundation in the spring of uh, somewhere around March of 2015. It's the first time that we uh, heard of this program. I've got reports from several parents as well as teachers um, of some of these students that are involved in chess, their academic performance going up. Um, specifically, one parent um, came to me to express his appreciation of chess and that his student approached homework differently now. Um, the way that he worked on homework, took his time on homework, and really concentrated on what he was doing and made a lot better effort since he had learned those skills through the chess program. I've been pleasantly surprised at the attention that this has drawn to Franklin County Schools and, and Franklin County itself. Um, we've had several other schools reach out to us with interest, want to know what's going on, how are we getting it done. Uh, recently, 60 Minutes has been with us here um, on the school campus as well as traveling with us on tournaments. Uh, been here several times to do a segment um, coming up, I believe, in March that will showcase Franklin County Chess and their accomplishments and, um, and about our town here, Meville, Mississippi. Kids are picking up new vocabulary through chess. Chess is a very vocabulary rich um, tradition, cultural tradition. It also um, encourages reading, critical reading, you know, very careful sorts of reading. Um, and in order to improve at it, you have to study. And so kids are learning how to study and the inspiration to study for them, at least in relation to chess, is the, the pleasure of playing the game well. Chess it doesn't replace anything in the curriculum, but rather what it can do is give you a new context in which to think about things that are going on in the curriculum so that it might be another sort of road in to, to language arts, social studies, mathematics, science for a kid. One of the benefits of chess can be teaching kids how to um, sort of accept delayed gratification, right, and to uh, see things from somebody else's point of view, solving problems without simply imposing your own views upon a situation and, um, and, and, you know, following the rules and respecting other people's rights and all of those kinds of things. And I've seen, I've seen a lot of evidence of that. That type of behavior has definitely changed in many kids. It's helped me with my grades, my concentration. It's helped me with my patience. I do not have, I have a short patience. It's helped me with pretty much most things in my life. I have won a few medals in the tournaments and I have won two trophies out of playing chess. One of the, the most significant ways in which to improve at chess is to get quality feedback just as it is in any educational activity and one of the ways you get good feedback in chess is by playing other players and so 
we try to travel when we can uh, to play new players who will give us you know, a diversity of feedback. If, they're, if I'm the only source of feedback or if, if the, the feedback is all limited to sort of a local community, then you're not really getting a broad perception of yourself. And so it's important that you know, the kids get to travel, play other people, play over the internet, all of those kinds of things um, make a difference. And again, maybe there's, there are ways in which those experiences in chess might carry over into other elements of children's educational experiences. This building uh, is a, is, was built in uh, 1913, so it's 100, almost 104 years old now. Um, it was at one point a furniture store, and before that it was some sort of general mercantile store. And uh, we bought it, uh, the Chess Foundation bought it, with the idea of remodeling it and turning it into a kind of chess school. And uh, it was a major renovation. And uh, it's turning out to be a really important, um, again, complementary educational project that doesn't put any further economic burden on the school system. Everything that the Chess Foundation does with the school system is paid for by the Chess Foundation so that none of the teaching or these kinds of activities or this facility create any new burdens on the school, which makes it a much more um, likely sort of model for success 